civil war had ended, the Union was saved. A weary nation looked toward peace. But just days later, a bullet silenced its greatest voice. April 14, 1865, President Abraham Lincoln assassinated in the dark of a theater. The nation mourned, the future looked uncertain. They feared ruin, collapse, the death of the American dream. But from the ashes of war came fire. Steel forged new empires. Railroads stitched the country back together. Oil lit the night. And from the minds of bold inventors came the current that would power a new world. This isn't just history, it's the origin of modern power. Ladies and gentlemen, we are here not to accept, but to question, to push the boundaries of what we believe to be true. For in every unanswered question, the universe waits patiently. Bohr thinks the universe plays dice. I say it just hides its rules well. And you refuse to accept that nature might be unpredictable. Gentlemen, the debate was exhausting enough in the conference hall. Let's not continue it here. It reminds me of another kind of war. Edison and Tesla. Order clashing with vision. I often think about him. <sighs> Tesla. A man who touched the edges of the future with bare hands and burned for it. He didn't belong to his time. He belonged to a world that still hasn't caught up. I've heard about that remarkable meeting between you and him. Pardon me, it's time for the group photograph. Come, 
We all may never stand together like this again. Go ahead. I'll come in a moment. We're going Einstein. Don't take too long. I've heard about that remarkable meeting between you and him. They called him mad, but he was just early. Too early for a world that fears the unknown. He gave us light and we left him in the dark. <laughs> they stole his ideas and forgot his name. But the future, it still runs on his vision. He didn't just invent, he dreamed out loud and no one was listening. Tesla lit the path before we even knew we were walking in shadows. Remember that. It all started in that railway station. I think the train is full. Go as grace. We can sell more papers and make more money today. We didn't sell much today either. I don't know how long we can keep doing this. Confused. What happened today? Disappointed. No one's buying newspapers. Don't they want to know what's happening in our country? I saw an office at the railway station. Come, I'll show you. So many people are working in this office. One day, we'll be here too. Let's rescue it before any dogs get to it. Excuse me, gentlemen, that's my kitten. <laughs> my kitten always runs around like this. Sometimes it takes him a long time to come back. <laughs> my kitten thinks he's a tiger or something, running around like he owns the world. Thank God you saved him today. I was so scared something might happen to him. While we were walking, we saw your kitten crossing the track. Oh my goodness. Come to Daddy Charlie. Missed you so much. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> what are your names? My name is Edison. My name is Benjamin. My name is Herlon. At first, I didn't think you were telling the truth about the kitten. <laughs> really? <sighs> well, looks like Charlie's finally forgiven me for leaving the back door open. Is your kitten really that special to you? He's not just a pet. A, he's like my own child. We were having a bad day with slow newspaper sales, but your kitten made it feel special. <sighs> Welcome to the telegraph office, boys. I want to show you something. I'm giving you this as a gift for saving my kitten. Many folks gather here, waiting on their messages. There's always a crowd here. You can sell your newspapers right here. Go ahead, it's all yours.
Your grandfather built something big, Morgan. With his hands. With his life. He wanted you to take it forward. I'm not him, Dad. I never wanted that life. It's not me. I know. But sometimes life doesn't ask what we want. It hands us what needs doing. I have my plans, my own goals. You're the only one who can lead like him. My son. Okay, Dad. If we're going to do this, I want to do it my way. That's exactly what your grandfather would have wanted. He always trusts me. My dear, what are you doing? I'm trying to build a steam piston from scratch, Dad. <laughs> Just a small one. <laughs> At your age? That's no easy task, dear. I'm planning to stop the rail engine. Automatic, Dad. <sighs> no need for a man to pull the brake. Stop a whole engine? By itself? Without a driver? That's a smart idea, son. A very smart one. <laughs> Not many grown men think like that. You've got something special. I'll teach you everything. Go ahead and do what you dream of, my son. Still see your face in